out in different countries. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's that it's that serious and that sensitive, and that the world must pay attention to any country that's going through so much and give as much support as possible. You're gonna laugh about my favorite moment because, of course, I've been to Greece a few times, took my kids, I wanted to show them everything that I loved about it, and it was the first riots, and we were right on the square. They thought I was the worst mother ever, <laughs> but I told them this is important for you to see. People are allowed to have dissent. They're allowed to say this doesn't work. We took lots of pictures. It was fantastic. It was the best trip I ever had. I know there's a crisis now, but as a country, it's, it's beautiful. The food is fantastic. My son loves Greek history, so we've been all over. It's a great country. Many countries in Europe are in and out of crisis, and I really think that every country takes its turn, coming close to the brink, and then they are rescued or they rescue themselves. I don't know um, so much about Greece, only the Greek people that I've met, and I would never bet against them. Hopes, high hopes that Greece with its amazing deep history is going to be rescued or rescue itself. We've been to Greece, I mean, one of the most beautiful places in the world. And it's just so unbelievably beautiful, you know, there's so many islands, you just, you spoil for choice. I love Santorini, you know, you're in another world. I've never seen so many stars in my life. I just remember being shocked that it really looked like the postcards. You know, you go to Mykonos and it really has those domed, lovely white buildings. It's, you don't think that's real. And you're also from a place that's just like in 300, such incredible history. I mean, it created this world today. And the people were really kind, really hospitable, and great, great food. I took my family there for five months because I love Greece. More than anything, we loved it there. Crisis or no crisis, it was an amazing place to be. I love it, of course. You know, I think it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. I love that you could go so many different places with so many different flavors. It's a tenacious country. It's a great people. What's not to love? What's your favorite country to visit? It's Greece. What's your last country to visit? Greece. We'll see every island in Greece that there is. Μα συγκινήσατε. Μα συγκινήσατε απίστευτα. Αλήθεια, συγκινήθηκε. Μπορούμε να του πάρουμε του ανθρώπου αυτού να του κάνουμε πρεσβευτέ τη χώρα μα
Και να του γυρίσουμε από άκρη σε άκρη να γνωρίσουμε ότι δεν υπάρχει μόνο η Μύκονο. Υπάρχουν και τα χωριά τα όμορφα από άκρη σε άκρη κυριολεκτικά. Ναι, Ακούνε εκεί οι υπεύθυνοι, μήπω καταφέρουμε να δείξουμε ότι υπάρχει και μια άλλη Ελλάδα. Είναι Όχι μόνο αυτή του Ζορμπά και του Ο τραγουδιού. Ο Τόμ Χάνξ είναι τόσο Έλληνα. Δηλαδή, κάθε Πάσχα στο σπίτι του σε Λο Άντζελε κάνει κανονικό ελληνικό γλέντι. Και η Χριστίνα συγκινήθηκε. Ναι, δηλαδή είναι. Ένα που είναι ε, να ευχαριστήσουμε το GreekReporter.com και το Έλληνε.com από όπου πήραμε το υπέροχο αυτό υλικό. Και τώρα, για να μην έτσι. Γι' αυτό μα μισούνε, παιδί μου. Να. Γι' αυτό μα μισούνε. Γιατί δεν γουστάρουν να μα αγαπάνε τόσο πολύ. Κατάλαβε. Δεν να. θέλουν. Δεν δε θέλουν. Ξέρεις κάτι. Παίζουμε έναν άνθρωπο που θα πει. Α, ε, θα πάω. Μιλάω για όλο mm -hmm. τον Νότο, mm -hmm. έτσι. Γιατί και η Ελλάδα. Καλά, η Ελλάδα είναι η μοναδική χώρα. Το λέω. Να. Το ξαναλέω. Το φωνάζω. Που ανεβαίνει πάνω σε ένα σκάφο και όπου σου αρέσει. Σε το λέω σκούνα, πολύ ευγενικά. Ναι. Όπου σου κάνει κέφι, σταματά, κάνει μια βουτιά, απολαμβάνει τη θάλασσα, αυτά τα συγκλονιστικά mm. νερά. Χωρί κυλόψα. Χωρί να κινδυνεύει από τίποτα και ξανανεβαίνει στο σκάφο και συνεχίζει. Τρώσε μια μαρίδα. Δηλαδή, Παιδιά, σε κανένα είναι... μέρο.